This is not my kitchen. Well, you know what my kitchen looks like because I had that drunken baking episode. Uh, this is my mother-in-law's kitchen. I'm visiting my mother-in-law because of this little guy. This is Charlie. This is my baby kitty cat. We had to rehome him because I was trying to do my cupcake thing. And because he seems, he's a lot happier here. My mother-in-law's is in the countryside. He has lots and lots of room to roam, so he's very, very happy kitty. So what I'm going to talk about today is uh, the rehash of what has happened this week. For anyone who hasn't been watching my videos, I wanted so badly to make my own cupcake business. And it was going to start off with being on the market every week in my town. Then it would progress to having jobs of specifically making cakes for cakes, cupcakes, that sort of thing for weddings, birthdays, functions, anything of that sort. I wanted to do things like this. a cake that I made specifically for someone given it was one of my in-laws um, but it's the type of thing that I'm good at because when you think of cakes right think of like a cartoon cake you get that fondant royal icing stuff that doesn't taste very nice at all so I wanted to do something creative with my buttercream icing that made it look as good as when it was done with fondant so I didn't have to compromise taste for people but I could still amaze them by giving them something as realistic. Being on the market is a different story because it's every week you have to pay a fee to be there which for me was 15 pounds. Thursday I didn't even make enough to cut well I did I barely made enough to cover 15 pounds. I made 17 pounds that day and it was not good. Uh, it didn't even begin to cover what it cost me to make all the treats that I had. I still have leftovers. There's leftovers over there that I brought to my mother-in-law. I am still going to do my business. I'm just not going to do it on the market. And here's why. Number one, people are not willing to give new businesses a chance. That in Ross on Why it's all about tradition and what is normal, what has been here for a while, and what has a reputation of word of mouth. If people see me on a market, they snub it because, oh, it's new. I don't want to try that until I get an opinion of what it's like already. So no one wants to try it unless they have a second opinion, yet no one will try it, so no one will get a second opinion. Number two is a lot of people here are into sort of organic and local farming and that sort of thing. I saw a lot of people um, who had kids that would go to the veg man and just pick up some strawberries and have their children munch on strawberries rather than a cake. My cakes aren't exactly healthy, so people aren't going to go for it if they're proper health freaks. Third reason I'm not doing the market anymore um, is because it's not worth it. I mean, to have a day and a half to two days off of work so that I can bake and sell cakes that no one's gonna buy, it's a waste of money and it's a waste of my time if I'm not gonna sell out. And just the entire time I was on the market, all I thought about was, this sucks, I'm bored, I wanna go home, this is depressing, I know I'm not going to sell out today, why am I even here? A lot of people are telling me, oh, you can't just quit after one week, you have to give it a go. Well, no, if I don't A, have any money for the supply, B, I don't even make the cost of having a stall, let alone the ingredients, it's not worth it, especially if I'm miserable the whole time, I'm depressed because I know I'm not going to sell out. I would rather bake things for fun, 
give them out to people that I know and say, here, share them with your friends, give people my card. I do personalized cakes. I am for hire. That is what I want. I want people to specifically hire me for events so I can only dedicate my time to that one cake or that one special order, get it out, get paid. I'm just done with it. So that's my rant today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.